overwhelmed for a long period of time. They've been working overtime and nobody's been giving them any love, any nutritional love, any oxygen love, any uh, detoxification love. And so all the strategies we're talking about here are calming the thyroid down and supporting thyroid health, but also calming the body down and supporting the health of the entire body. Uh, relaxation techniques, don't underestimate those and deep breathing. Uh, I was talking a little bit about oxygen, but slow deep breathing. Don't underestimate that as well. Your doctors are trained in fixing diseases. What I'm talking about here is strengthening the body. It's a distinction, uh, uh, it's a distinction but it's a subtle distinction. See, I'm saying strengthen the body, let the body deal with the issue. As long as you're not into, if you're into stage three and stage four, you know, that's a little bit different. That's when the cancer starts to spread, it becomes significant. And then the medical model to be, you know, to give the devil his due, sometimes the medical model can do some good. But until that point where you're in this acute dramatic situation, personally, I'd be doing all I could do in terms of avoiding surgery and certainly avoiding thyroidectomy, which is a major, major surgery, not major surgery, but it's, well, it's major surgery, but it's a major problem. Uh, it, it can present a major problem. People who have thyroid cancer, by the way, or all cancers are at high risks for other cancers. So here's another issue, Pat. You're going to get the thyroid taken out, but if you don't do all the things I just told you, he's going to have a higher risk fact. He's going to have a higher risk factor for other cancers down the road. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So even, no matter what you decide to do, everything I told told you is very, very important. Um, uh, breast cancer, by the way, leads to more thyroid cancer. Thyroid cancer leads to other cancers. So if you take care of the cancer by removing it or radiating it or chemotherapizing it, that's a word, yeah. you haven't done anything about the risk factors for further cancers. See what I'm saying? Right. So you want to strengthen the body under any circumstances, no matter what he decides to do. But that would be my first, that would be the first thing that I did. And All I right? need to tell you something. Yes, My husband called you about two or three weeks ago, and you recommended whey protein and super enzymes for his cold muscle. Yes. Well, he's all better, and he's back chopping wood. Praise God. You know what I'm telling you? Pat, you think I'm kidding around here? No, I'm not telling you this not. because this is fun and games. I'm telling you this because this is life-changing information. I know. And your doctors aren't going to tell you this stuff. Thank you, Pat. Appreciate you You're sharing. Right. That's important because other people need to hear these stories. That's why I say success stories are so important. Thanks, Pat. God bless you with everything. Well, thank you. Out. All right. Take Bye. care now. All right. All right. Jasmine in Wyoming. I love Wyoming. Oh, my goodness. Where in Wyoming are you, Jasmine? Jackson. What a beautiful state. Yeah. I don't want to hear anybody giving Wyoming grief. You guys get a <laughs> lot of grief. Tetons are amazing. Uh, what's that? The Grand Tetons are amazing. Oh, my God. Jackson is one of my all-time favorite cities. I almost moved there a long, long time ago to Jackson in the, in the late 70s. There was nothing there. I imagine it's all built up now, right? Oh, it's changed so much. Yeah. yeah. I've been did, here. Did you, oh, when did you move out there? I've been here almost 16 years, actually. And you just stayed, huh? You, did you oh, go out to? You don't want to leave when you get. You here, don't want to yeah. leave. Oh my God, that's such a beautiful city or town. Is it a city? It's a town or city? It was a town. Um, it's a town. It has that country feel. Yet there's so much money in this community that we yeah. it's like a little mini city. So it has so much to offer. And you know we have our off seasons and stuff like that. And then it gets really busy in the summertime, of course, because the national parks. And then of course the winter times picks up for the skiing. You, do you ski? Is that why you went out there? I do not ski. No, you just went out there just because um, it was gorgeous? Well, I actually used to be a massage therapist a long time ago. I'm actually a banker now, but um, I came out here to do massage therapy and just never left. So Good for you. Well, you have good taste, I will tell you that. Where did you, where did you move there from? <laughs> I'm from eastern Montana, actually. Okay, well, it's pretty nice up there, too. I, is, yeah. east, is that where Billings is? Is that the east part? It is. It's about three more hours northeast of Billings. Okay. All right, so what's going on? How can we help you, Jasmine? No, you've answered most of my questions in the last few calls for the um, cleaning the blood, but my main concern is I want to get off the blood thinners as soon as possible just because they're do. so risky. What are they, so what why is, are they giving you blood thinners? What's, what, what do they I give those to? I had a stroke at 32 years old. Oh, my goodness. Hard yeah, living? What were you doing, Jasmine? That's unusual. Were you yeah, hard living? Uh, or? They told me it was caused by birth control, but as I'm learning from you and Dr. Wallach, it was really caused by dirty blood and my poor eating habits, and yeah. it about killed me. So... Um, I'm on Zarelto. I was on the Warfarin. And, okay. How do you um, feel? Do you how like do you feel tired? Do you feel are, are you happy? Are you do you strong? Are you vital? What, tell I me feel about. good. I've been on Longevity since the end of October. Nice. And did I've it change anything? Did you notice a difference? Did you notice a difference when you got on the Longevity stuff? Oh, totally. It changed my triglycerides, which I've battled my whole life. They started at like they used to be 700, and when I started. Longevity, they were like 257. Now they're down to 31 in just now, less than two months. 
Isn't that amazing, Jasmine? I Don't you does, it. Doesn't it want make you want to stand on top of the roof and just scream it to people? Oh, I'm telling yeah. you. And the same thing can happen with your Xarelto also. So if you're still on the, you may not need to be on the Xarelto. They may just be giving it to you prophylactically to prevent something. Oh, my brain was pretty clotted. I mean, and it still is when I had my MRI in September. So I'm just wondering, if I'm on everything to dissolve the clots, is that a fast process? Is it, am I losing? Yeah, it's a pretty fast process depending on how significant it was. Now, I'd be looking at the food thing first. I did. If I've you, done that, yep. Yeah. Okay, so if you can find, and it's in your, in, not to make things up, of course, but it's in your interest to find things for food. The more you can find, the more you can eliminate, the cleaner your blood will be. And that's always the first thing, leaky gut syndrome and food allergens and toxins. Even if you're 99% clean, there, there may be 1% that you can, you want to find that 1% is what I'm saying. Sugar also represents a toxin, so all your sugar strategies, consider yourself a diabetic whether they call you that or not. Okay. Cons- you know what I'm saying? They don't even worry what they do. You don't even need to get your blood sugar ch- tested. Just consider yourself a diabetic. Go ketogenic. Okay. Jasmine, if I were you, if you had a stroke at age 32, I would be going ketogenic the rest of my life. The ketogenic okay. diet. All right? Uh, how old are you, by the way? Um, I just turned 35. Okay, so you're a young chickie. You got lots of good living going on. So yeah. now's the time, and you're also very strong. So uh, you know this is this is you're in the prime of your life. Uh, kilo, uh, the ketogenic diet, and then also chelation therapy. If you want to do that, that's a great. If you're you know you got excess fund fundage because it can be a little pricey. IV chelation, chelation therapy or oral chelation therapy, uh, using vitamin C. Uh, omega fats, natural blood thinners. Vitamin E is a natural blood thinner. Omega threes uh, are natural bl- natural blood thinners. Oxygen is one of the most important blood thinners there is. It may be the most important blood thinner. All right, oxygen, plain old oxygen. So practice slow, deep breathing, do yoga, massage, indulge in hot tubs and uh, hot showers, naps. The yeah. parasympathetic nervous system, the re- rest and digest, relaxation nervous system, so many more th- things that you could do. Basically, what you're talking about is uh, cleaning the blood and thinning the blood. Of course, the Healthy Star Pack, which you're on, goes without saying. Don't forget about the Nightly Essence if you're on, if you're not doing that. And then also the Fucoid Z. Fucoidin and polysaccharides can be very helpful for keeping the circulation system moving. And last but not least, get on a rebounder if you're not already. Uh, move your body around. Uh, hang upside down on an inversion inversion machine, uh, inversion device. A lot of these strategies for moving the blood around can be very helpful for dealing with dirty blood, and, and especially if you had a history of stroke. Got to go, Jasmine. Thank you for your call, and thanks for your success story. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.